Okay, so I am in the kitchen feeding everybody in a small group. Um, Elsie, shh, be nice. And um, Blue Dot has decided that he's done eating, and so he keeps um, shoving himself down the cabinet crevice and the <laughs> refrigerator crevice. Um, and he keeps pulling out that dust bunny that you see there. Right there, yes, and showing everybody. Oh, thank you for blocking that off, Elsie. And showing everybody how incredibly dirty my kitchen cabinet is. I mean, underneath my refrigerator is. So, this is everybody. We've got Pink Girl and Pink Stripe Girl. And they're still kind of casually eating. I like to put them in a smaller group so that um, everybody can have some individual time where it's not just frenetic eating. Um, when you have them in a group of 11, it tends to just be frenetic. I mean, they're just, it's, it's, it's chaos. And um, so you like to give them some individual time. And before I introduce the individual bowls, I put them in a smaller group like this and just let it be more of a casual eating type situation. In fact, um, so casual that we have decided to stand in the middle of our bowl. Anyways, um, Bill is putting a puppy away. And here is, I believe this is Blue Boy, wrestling with one of his sisters, Green Girl. You gonna put them away, baby? Yeah. And this is Blue Stripe. Hey, Blue Stripe! And Elsie is with them. Elsie, the old dog, is doing drive-bys on their food. If, um... <clears throat> They happen to drop a uh, little piece of food on the floor. Elsie drives by and gets it because it's. She feels it's free game if it's. Oh, okay. Everybody's on, disappearing. She feels it's free game if it's not in the bowl. Anyways, I just thought I'd show you guys um, a more relaxed type eating situation where we just kind of let them learn the you know the different textures of the floor. It's like controlled anarchy, controlled chaos. Elsie, say bye-bye.